all the children of Israel effectuated the Passover as Yahweh commanded Moshe and Ahron, so did they. And it was the selfsame day that Yahweh did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Mithraim by their hosts. Shemot, Exodus chapter 13. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Sanctify to me all the firstborn. Whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. And Moshe said to the people, Remember this day in which ye came out from Mithraim, out of a house of slaves. For by strength of hand Yahweh brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened food be eaten. This day ye go forth in the month of the Arvib, and it shall be when Yahweh shall bring thee into the land of the Canaani, and the Cheti, and the Hamori, and the Hawi, and the Yabusi, which he swore an oath to thy fathers to give thee, a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened breads, and in the seventh day shall be a festival to Yahweh. Unleavened breads shall be eaten throughout the seven days, and leavened food shall not be seen with thee, and leaven shall not be seen with thee in all thy borders. And thou shalt tell thy son in that day, saying, It is because of that which Yahweh did for me when I came forth out of Mithraim. And it shall be for a sign to thee upon thy hand, and for a memorial between thy eyes, that the law of Yahweh may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath Yahweh brought thee out of Mithraim. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in its season from year to year. And it shall be, when Yahweh shall bring thee into the land of the Canaani, as he swore an oath to thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee, that thou shalt set apart to Yahweh all that openeth the womb, and every firstling which thou hast, that cometh of a beast, the males shall be Yahweh's. And every firstling of a donkey thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break its neck, and all the firstborn of man among thy sons shalt thou redeem. And it shall be, when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, What is this? that thou shalt say to him, By strength of hand Yahweh brought us out from Mithraim, from a house of slaves, and it was when Paraon made it hard to send us away, that Yahweh slew all the firstborn in the land of Mithraim, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to Yahweh all that openeth the womb, being males, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. And it shall be for a sign upon thy hand, and for tot a fort between thy eyes. For by strength of hand Yahweh brought us forth out of Mithraim. And it was in Paraos sending away the people, that God led them not by the way of the land of the Polish team, although that was near. For God said, Lest perhaps the people be disappointed, 
when they see war, and they return to Mithraim. But God led the people about by the way of the wilderness, by the Red Sea, and the children of Yisrael went up armed out of the land of Mithraim. And Moshe took the bones of Yosef with him, for adjuringly he had adjured the children of Yisrael, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sokot, and encamped in Hetam, in the edge of the wilderness. And Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they might go by day and by night, the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night, departed not from before the people. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, that they turn back and encamp before Pihahiroth, between Magadol and the sea, before Baal-Zaphon, opposite it shall ye encamp by the sea. And Parao will say of the children of Yisrael, They are entangled in the land, the wilderness hath set them in, and I will make strong Parao's heart, and he shall follow after them, and I will get me honour upon Parao, and upon all his host, and the Mithrim shall know that I am Yahweh. And they did so.